hey, we have this problem on the board, ln e plus x equals x. And we want to try to solve this using the Lambert w function. We have this, we have this useful equation on the left here that's going to help us out with solving this because this is the tool that's going to help simplify. So hopefully we can get it in that form, but we're pretty far off right now. But what I can do is I can raise, create each side as the exponent on an e. So then we're kind of forcing our e. So we'll say e ln e plus x on the left and we'll let it right side I mean, is e to the x just making both sides the exponent and the nice thing about that is we can actually cancel e to the ln is just the inside stuff here so we can essentially cancel that out and that gets rid of the ln which as you can see isn't really helpful for these type of problems so then doing that now we have e plus x equals e to the x this is good we produced our e from here, what we want is we'd like to see these all on the same side. We want to have this as a product. So what I can do is let's divide both sides by an e to the x. And now we'll have e plus x times e to the, we'll bring this into the co to the numerator. So we have e to the negative x and just one on the right side. Then back to our strategy in this formula, we want to have this exponent and this coefficient the same. We still got a little bit of work to do. But what we can do now, notice, what if I did this? We need to get this e in here, which is tricky, but what if I divide by e to the e? We gotta do it on the right side too. And let's just continue over here. Then we're gonna have e plus x times, and then moving this into the numerator, we're gonna have e to the minus x minus e. You can see we're getting close. And then from here, all we need to do, let's just multiply both sides by a negative one. And then we'll have, you know, let's do it this way. So we'll write it as minus e. We want to make it look exactly the same. So we're at minus e minus x on the coefficient. And we'll have, we'll write it the same way here. And then you'll notice this and this are identical now. So now we're in good shape to use our formula. We'll use the Lambert W function and apply it on both sides. We'll take the Lambert of the that's the worst parenthesis I ever saw right there. And we'll take the Lambert W on the right. And we're going to be left with minus E minus X equals Lambert W E to the minus E. You almost think you could use Lambert W and simplify this right part, but you can't quite do it because this is a minus one and this is a minus E. So not quite. So then we just want to solve for X. So to do that, we're going to add an E to both sides. So we'll have minus X equals Lambert W minus E minus E plus E, but we're actually going to go ahead and reverse that because we need to multiply minus one by both sides. So that's going to turn this into a plus or we'll minus here. Fix this and make this a minus. So we're left with this for our solution. We're going to have X equals minus Lambert W minus E to the minus E. Minus E, so there's a lot of minus E's going on. And then so we're just, from here we just need to figure out, okay, we need to kind of interpret this result. Is this gonna be a real solution? And if so, do we have other real solutions? So to do that, what I wanna do, we just need to look at this inner part here. So I took, I, you can actually calculate this. So with your calculator, just this inner piece here, minus E to the minus E, I came up with approximately minus 0 0.0659. Put this whole thing in the Wolfram Alpha to get a decimal approximation, and I got minus 2.647415, I think that is. And then uh, the next thing is we need to assess, okay, is there a second solution to this? And let's take a look. Okay, so we have a pretty good look at the graph. We have in red our Lambert, or is that green? I can't see. We have the Lambert W function, and then we have this intersecting. This is our minus E. This here is our minus E to the minus E line at around minus 0 0.65. And what you can see is in this region here, if we zoom out, we have we have our first solution, which we got our from this, we got our principal answer that I showed on the previous screen. But there's actually another intersection point here, because you can see this is gonna loop around. So this is gonna intersect again way down. Here somewhere. Um, 
yeah, minus four, okay, minus 4.13. So there's this other intersection point here. And so that's gonna give us a second answer on Wolfram Alpha. And let's look that up now. So also on Wolfram Alpha, I put this whole thing in, but I did it for the negative one branch. And we got a second solution at 1.42037. This is going to be from our negative one. And this is going to be from our principal branch zero. And we can actually see this on the graph of the function itself. So let's look at that as well. So, so it's clear to see, okay, this is our y equals x, but it's just a line for the x side. But then for our ln e plus x, we have this curve. You'll see they intersect the two points. They intersect here at 1.42, which is one of our solutions. And they also intersect here at minus 2.647, the other solution. So, so we have our two real solutions. I got this problem from my quiz, Lambert W function. I'll leave a link in the description. Hope you check that one out. Thanks and have a good day.